Today I'm going to talk about the top five apps I use for making my YouTube videos and creating content for my articles and blogs on a platform called Medium. Well, these apps make me efficient, creative and productive in making rich and meaningful content while I'm creating my videos, blogs, website content, articles or even my social media posts. Once again, my name is Anshul Kumar from NextGen Digital and if this is the first time you are here, welcome to our channel and if you want to grow your channel or even get productive and efficient in your daily life, do subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon below. Also, I am planning to leave a link to my free content management template that you can download. Let's start right now. My entire process of content creation starts with a free tool called Google Trends. Google Trends allows you to perform market research on the topic niche areas, search engine optimization, keywords and tags. All this means that we need to know the trends that are going on what people are looking for, how do they search and which keywords do they use and so on. Google Trends is one of the lesser known tools and even if this might not be the most popular tools of Google, I really appreciate that this does exist. I do not use it every week, but use it as I require it. Really, there is nothing better than I know, which can provide me insights on the global trends as a content creator. This gives me a sense of what is trending, of what people are interested what people are searching for, what people are tweeting, what are they talking about and what stories are trending. You can go to google.com slash trends. This is what it looks like. You can see who is trending and what's trending. It also shows kind of history over time of that interest in that topic, person or thing. And there are even interest topics and interest maps. We can see what areas of the world or countries are interested in this topic. I can also go at the top here and explore a topic, let's say Coke, and it shows the interest level for the last four years in Coke. And then next I'm going to click on the plus sign to compare Coke with another product, for instance, Pepsi. So now I can see a comparison here. So this is the way I pick up my topics, niche areas and evaluate the trends before I get into the next steps of creating further detailed content. Since YouTube is the second largest search engine in the world, it's important that our videos are properly optimized in order to show up the search results. This process is called search engine optimization or SEO for short. Once I have a proper SEO done, our videos come up with the search results. Remember, the quality of the content keeps people watching, but SEO brings people's feet in the door. Keyword Explorer is a great way to start when you get an idea for new content, but when I want to see how will it perform. Start by entering any keyword and the tool analyzes the keyword and gives an overall score related keywords and the most used tags from the current top ranking videos. It will also show you the current search results, trending queries and historical data for the term. This tool helps you craft searchable titles and gives you better keywords for your tags. TubeBuddy has many more features, which I'm not going to go over here, but do check it out if you are a serious content creator. Every time I need to plan on my YouTube content, manage my tasks, write my script, or even store some key videos, my go-to app is Evernote. In case you are new to Evernote, Evernote is a way to capture all your experiences and access them from anywhere. Type a note, store documents, capture a photograph, or any other moment you want to remember. Evernote saves and synchronizes your digital life across all devices. No matter where you are, Evernote is with you. Use it to stay organized, plan your next trip, design and manage your project like YouTube videos or writing a blog or clearing your paper clutter. Capture a moment and 
always find what you need. So Evernote is my biggest support as a content creator. I will leave some of the links to Evernote videos that I have done earlier. I use Canva for all my creative designing needs, like creating a YouTube thumbnail, my website pages, blog images, and also social media content. Canva is an amazing and a powerful design tool made for non-designers. Almost 10 million people in the community are using Canva for designing. And did I mention that it's free? And it has a paid version also that comes with some great features. With Canva, you can design presentations, social media graphics, and thousands of beautiful layouts. It has millions of images, photo filters, background remover, free icons, and shapes, and hundreds of fonts for you to design anything and everything. The best way to understand Canva is to try it yourself. For all my video editing needs, we use Final Cut Pro. Final Cut Pro is a revolutionary app for creating, editing, and producing the highest quality video. Final Cut Pro combines high performance digital editing and native support for virtually any video format with easy to use and time saving features that let you focus on storytelling. This tool is a professional video editing application for Mac users. The software gives powerful tools at the hands of editors to enable them to create stunning videos. These include filters, motion graphics, special effects, and many other features. Final Cut Pro also supports 360 degree video editing for VR as well as real time VR headset playback to see how the modifications work in the intended environment. Hope you enjoyed the video and I'm sure these are helpful to you at some point of time. Do check them out as you're working from home these days and staying safe. Also, I will leave links to all these apps and websites in the description section below. I will leave a link to my content planning template that you can access free for making videos or writing articles or blogs. See you next Thursday and thanks for your time.